Hey y'all, I'm Mandy. This is Luca Retero. So this next phase in y'all's journey is like it's like you were asleep and you're gonna be awake. Something's being cleared out. There's something that's completing here, some kind of phase that's coming to completion, but it's like you're going through this rebirth here, and on the other side of it, you're gonna come out the star, a star. There's going to be a lot of uh, abundance coming in for you here with the B coming out. And I'm going to get the meanings from the book. But with this snake representing completion, the wolf and the vulture, what I'm getting is like this energy cleansing. And you've been through something here that's stung. Something really stung because we got the three of swords twice here. And y'all excuse me, I'm just like freestyling again okay sorry <laughs> meaning i don't have my camera set up i'm just holding it so y'all bear with me all right so first out well let's go back down here first okay so to clarify the angel cards that i got out i pulled a few from the light sears and like i said we have the two three of swords and then we got two tens with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups so you had something here with somebody. You could have had kids with this person, or this could be a family situation. But it's like something kept repeating here. Some kind of heartbreaking cycle kept repeating over and over and over to where you or maybe your spirit team is getting to looking side-eyed. Like, you know what? I really don't have to even deal with this. You know, some somebody here, now this may not be for a lot of people. I have no idea, but I am getting the message for somebody that somebody could be going from a opposite sex type of relationship to same sex, okay? Like I said, I don't know who that's for. Maybe just a couple people, but take what resonates, leave the rest. But um, for some of y'all, it's more of a... It could be even a, some kind of sister or brother situation that's coming together. But you're coming out on the other side. Like I said, this star independent here. There's going to be hope. Um, hoping the situation, a wish granted, okay? Something's coming into balance that's taking a long time here. But like I said, okay, so we start off with the three of cups. Um, okay, so like I said, fame, fame and renown, influences, commerce, voyages, and great discoveries. So this card here, then with the ten of pentacles, and it kind of looks similar okay so this is what we start off with fame and renown the star okay strength loyalty delivery from those who seek to oppress brings victory you have a victory coming in here um possibly from someone who was trying to oppress you this could be um any kind of situation family job relationship then we got the seven of wands there was some kind of blockage here liberation deliverance from enemies both visible and invisible so you could have been dealing with some invisible enemies here we got 333 on the timer okay um the four cups the god deflecting evil healing capacity protection from weapons safety and travel somebody is being protected here or you could be trying to protect somebody or somebody's praying for somebody or somebody's praying for safe travels here okay of this emperor here or this emperor here is praying for someone okay like unto god political authority gives safe travel and protects against conspiracies okay page of wands this is about good news but the thing is um the good news seems to be about there being an ending to some kind of blockage or something that was slowing down you uh a connection or something like that okay so we got the seven of wands and the seven of cups you could be seeing seven 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 any order of number seven repeating okay so we got the page of wands again like i was saying the preventing god it's like the most high and i'm seeing four 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 on the clock something was prevented here propagation of light confounds the wicked and slander saves from enemies it's like somebody was protected from something here okay leo aries sagittarius uh scorpio 
um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, that's, so it could be any sign, but that's what is standing out a lot here. We got the Knight of Pentacles. So something was supposed to move faster than what it was. Like this, um, this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, all this wish fulfillment and blessing. Something was supposed to be moving a lot faster, but somebody slowed it down by, I don't know, you know, it could have been a lot of things, y'all. Something, some, either somebody was slowing it down with their own crap, you know, this emperor possibly here, or empress, whichever the case may be, but, um, <coughs> that seems to be, there seems to be a spiritual war going on here, maybe just in someone's mind, okay, Something seems to be healing here over this situation. Five, five, five on the clock. There's a change coming in. Okay, light of understanding acquires knowledge and cures illnesses. So whatever somebody was going through here could have been some kind of, you know, somebody fighting demons, battling addictions, um, a lot of things. But that seems to be the end. It's like the end of confusion. We got the seven of cups here, which can represent confusion god the just god just god look so this angel here is holding like a um one of those what are those things called y'all it's another timer thing like the last reading like a clock like your time is running out something is over here um look there it is right there like i didn't notice that before see it's here on this card and then it's here, like, right. Somebody's uh, patience has worn thin or something here. Okay. On the other side of this um, death and rebirth here is is healing, um, a wish coming true. It's like something changed you here. Okay. Um, so... Wait, okay, so let's go back. Contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. So it's like truth coming out about a situation. Endings and rebirths are somebody being truthful with themselves about a situation. Influences health and longevity. So somebody could be even realizing like, okay, at this point, this confusion or whatever was going on here that was holding you or a connection or a job back um, is, is coming to an end. Okay, so we got death, endings, and rebirths, influences, health, and longevity. So, definitely somebody's health is getting better here. Okay, the empress, fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. So, there's some kind of healing here in a relationship after a lot of heartbreak, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage, all right, but it could be. Um, God, the just clemency and equilibrium coming into balance here with this two of pentacles. Something coming to balance. 818 could mean something. Uh, protect, protects against attacks in the courts. So this could be protects against the attacks in the courts or protect protection against, you know, uh, spiritual attacks, anything like that. And there has been a lot of attacking here. Look at this energy here of this vulture and this three of swords where somebody is in really or is in or was in a dark place. I'm trying to focus that so y'all can see. Yeah, well, there's a there's a coming together here for the greater good of a situation. Okay, some kind of cycle is ending here. Like, is pressure by the universe or something like that? Or you or this other person or everybody to bring peace to a situation. But there's a lot of balance coming in, stability, independence here, and happiness, okay? Wish fulfillment. It's like somebody being happy and abundant at the same time. Something coming into balance here. So let's go back to the, uh, oops, I got a notification. Let's go back to the animal spirit. I'm going to read these right quick. Actually, I'm just going to read the stingray because I think the other ones are pretty. I'm going to go with what 
what I felt on those. I'm not going to read them all every time. But the completion of some kind of um, cycle here with the wolf card. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm taking the wolf card as somebody going through a, and I've just seen 10, 10 on the clock. It's like, after some a stinging lesson here, or something that somebody was going through, possibly something hidden that they were going through on their own, um, a personal battle here that was hidden under the water like the stingray. There's this time of abundance coming in. Now, what was the one I said I was going to read? The stingray. Okay. I might not even read the stingray. Okay, so we and we have the vulture card too here, y'all. So what I'm gonna say on this is because this and then we got the strength card. Not the strength card, but the lion. And we got the strength card up here. Uh lots of Leo energy. You can have Leo in your chart. Um, but really what I'm getting is your strength here, your determination. You're coming out on the other side of all this. Whatever you've been through, you're coming out with pure energy here. Somebody's cleansing their energy of some something, somebody. I don't know what it is, but somebody is... Because the unicorn energy is purity energy in another deck. So, I'm going to take that meaning for it here, too. Uh, so, like I said, you remain strong here. Your energy is getting more pure. You're vibrating high here. Or you will be after, you know, this could be a, this could be a sign to cleanse your energy in some kind of way. Maybe take a spiritual bath or something, or, you know, burn some candles, some incense or something like that. After you're around certain people, maybe that can help. All right, you guys, but that's what I got for this one. Okay. My lions, unicorns, wolves, stingrays. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye.